What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are talking about Lucasfilm continuing to show they have no idea what they're doing. They have no common sense, no grasp of reality, and they don't understand Star Wars. The people that are running Lucasfilm are absolutely out of touch. So it was uh, revealed a few days ago that you can't joke about Kylo Ren in the new Wreck-It Ralph movie. That's right. Protect Kylo. Wear kid gloves when you're talking about Kylo, guys. Kylo, he's, can't, he's a sensitive guy. You can't talk about him. Um, so in a recent interview with IGN, the film's director, Rich Moore, said that one character in particular was marked as off-limits for the desired mockery. Kylo Ren, the fearsome and complicated villain of the new Star Wars movies. At one point, we had a joke about Kylo being kind of a spoiled child, Moore said. We went to Lucasfilm and said, here's what we're doing. And they said, well, we'd prefer that you don't show him as a spoiled child. You know, he is our villain. And we prefer you don't do that. So we were kind of respectful of that. Or we were respectful of that. So let me get this straight, Lucasfilm. Let me get this. Let me, let me understand how your mind works at Lucasfilm. Okay? There's, there's a little bit of, there's a few layers to this. Okay? So in Wreck-It Ralph, a funny animated movie. You can't make a little bitty joke about Kylo Ren. But Ryan Johnson can take over a canon film. You have no planning and no communication from the previous film to the sequel. Ryan Johnson completely ignores all of the setups in The Force Awakens. He ignores Return of the Jedi. He ignores the original trilogy. He turns Luke Skywalker into someone that none of us recognize. Turns him into Jake Skywalker. Luke Skywalker, the greatest character ever in movies. And he turned him into an unrecognizable old grumpy man. You're okay with that. But one little joke about Kylo Ren in an animated film that's supposed to be for comedic purposes is too far. Are you kidding me right now? This is why you continue to be criticized, Lucasfilm. The people that are running this place don't understand it. They don't get any of it. So another thing, I'm glad you're standing up for things, Lucasfilm. I'm glad you're actually taking a stand. So while you're taking a stand against one little bitty joke about Kylo, you have people that work for your company, that represent your brand, continuing to bash fans over and over and over again on social media. And you say, you don't say anything? That's not a problem? There's no consistency with this company. There's no true leadership. There's no vision. How can you be so concerned with one little joke? Yet, you didn't even make a plan for the sequel trilogy. You didn't even have a plan. You just, hey, Ryan, here you go. Oh, cool. Ha, ha, ha. Luke is just drinking from space dinosaurs. Ha, ha. That's funny. Princess Leia's flying through the air like Mary Poppins. Ha, ha. That's funny. Really? Admiral Akbar. Who cares if he gets uh, a, a death that's honorable? We just need to push him out. Who cares if he gets any type of respect? Really? <sighs> anyway, it's more proof that Lucasfilm is completely clueless. They don't get it. This is why people like me continue to criticize you, Lucasfilm. I'm not scared to criticize you. I don't want your press passes. I don't need your free tickets to Star Wars Celebration. I don't need any of it. All I want is for Star Wars to be respected again. I was your number one cheerleader when Disney bought you. I was your number one cheerleader. I was like, man, Disney is going to make it great. There's going to be theme parks. They're going to honor all of it. I was completely wrong, obviously. And I still have the slightest bit of hope. But when I see stupid stuff like this, it makes me wonder, why do I have any hope? Why? You're mad because of a joke in a Wreck-It Ralph movie. Unbelievable. Great attention to detail. Meanwhile, Ryan Johnson still has a trilogy according to you. That's right. But the Kylo joke was too far. 
Meanwhile, you still have people on Twitter running their mouths about your fan base. But, but the Kylo joke was too far. Ridiculous. Anyway, that's it. Lucasfilm continues to show that they don't know what's going on. I'm going to continue to call them out. This is unbelievable to me. And the funny thing is, is I actually loved Kylo Ren after The Force Awakens. I did. I, I had a couple of critiques. But overall, yeah, I was totally happy with that character. Then The Last Jedi happened. No development whatsoever. Like, I looked at Kylo and I thought, Kylo has so much potential. He has so much potential after The Force Awakens. There's a lot of layers to this character. There's a lot of opportunity here for character development. And what did you do? He spent the entire movie Force Skype calling Ray. That's what he did. And really, the joke is on you. That's the problem. But but you want to silence a joke and wreck it, Ralph. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's all I can say about it. it it's, it's unbelievable to me. But uh, we're done. Lucasfilm, you're clueless. And as long as you continue to make decisions like this, people like me are going to call you out. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later.